Hello YouTube, TCV4 here with a just a little quick tutorial on how to fix nearly any problems you may be having with your computer. Um, as far as let's say you downloaded something that, like um, I just downloaded something called like My Colors, which is a desktop switcher thing, and you won't be able to see it now because I have already fixed the problem. And I'm sorry for the blurry screen; it's iPod Touch. But anyway. That little folder is there, that folder, etc. I had a theme applied, and when I removed that theme, they stayed there no matter almost whatever I did. Or try, however I tried to get rid of them, and that just involved uninstalling it and all those things. None, none of which would get rid of it. I, I don't really know what the problem is to this day. I mean, it probably changed something in the, um, the Windows program files. Probably changed the image. But, um, anyway. To fix a problem like that, or actually to roll back, you're going to want to download what they call Easy BCD, and I know you can't read it, I'm sorry, but it's Easy BCD 2.1, and that's what the icon will look like. You can just download this right from CNET, download CNET.com, it'll be in a link below, but you can just search Easy BCD on the internet, and it'll bring up a CNET download link. And uh, once you get that, you know, it's a pretty in simple installation process, but it'll, Windows 7 will ask you this, HP Mini. Um, there's one entry, Windows bootloader, okay, it's going to be kind of hard to show you because I am doing this on Hot Touch, but you want to go down to not advanced settings. Uh, Edit boot menu right there, the one that's got a little wrench and a screwdriver crossing. And it'll just say, depending on what you have installed, Windows 7 there. And you want to go down to timeout options. And I it comes stock set on to skip the boot menu. If you want to be able to access this, to be able to access the uh, the recovery manager and what I want to go to boot default OS after 30 seconds or wait for user selection depending on what you do and you can always revert this just by switching it back to skip the boot menu and saving settings we're gonna go ahead and go to the 30 second one here and we're just gonna click the save setting buttons and in the lower left hand corner you will get a bootloader settings save successfully and that'll just let you know and now when we go ahead and we just start and we'll go ahead and restart the computer here Video's running a little long for what it's gonna be, but um, there you go. Now this is uh, this will only work as long as you have access to download files, which is why I'd suggest even having Easy BCD before you, um, before you have a problem. And this uh, this will pretty much just it's kind of like I'm mean, I haven't really not really familiar with Max, but from my what what it sounds like it's kind of like time machine it'll undo everything to a certain date and uh... you can also from this menu reinstall um... there you go and I'll bring you to this menu but you can reinstall and it's gonna just say choose an operating system to start press tab to select a tool use the inner keys to specify an advanced option for this choice, press F8. So, because we only see Windows 7 there, and we're just, we're just going to end up pressing F8. <laughs> so, you're going to have to have a old-style keyboard, non-USB. And uh, this will bring up a menu, like if you had gotten a blue screen crash, but it'll bring up safe mode, safe mode with networking, safe mode command drop. You're going to want to go to... Uh, sorry, I'm reading through these. <laughs> Repair your computer. Okay, wow, I didn't see that one. But it's the one automatically selected. Repair your computer. And you're just going to click enter there. And it'll go through a Windows is loading files bar, which is just about to hit full. Okay, there you go. And that'll bring you to a very, very uh, familiar loading bar eventually. Okay, there you go. Now, please don't, don't be confused. It's not loading Windows. It's loading 
it's loading Windows, but it's not loading the full Windows. So depending on how corrupt your uh, your Windows is, this will this may or may not work for you. It's good for fixing icons <laughs> if you do get my colors mess up your things. But uh, here you go. It'll bring up this interesting little background. Run some command prompt things. Don't need to touch the keyboard at all. And it does does work with USB mouse. So that's kind of shy. But keyboard input, select keyboard input method. Obviously, just you would know what that is. Not me. US probably if you're watching this video. Uh, you're gonna have to enter your password. Enter will do that. Okay, now you have choose a recovery tool operating system Windows 7. Okay, uh, and then it'll just say your local disk. So you want to go, depending on what you need to do, you can do a automatically fix problems that are preventing Windows from starting. Haven't had to try that one, but uh, it might help with starting Windows. System restore, which will restore, it's kind of like, that's the only way I can describe it is time machine. Somebody will probably correct me, but it here, we'll just go ahead and we'll go into no I don't I don't know how to get back from that but if you go into that it'll bring you yeah, I'll just show you. it'll bring you this menu right here and it'll say system restore can help you fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding you're gonna click next and there you have it you see this it'll bring up the dates of things my last install was install openoffice.org 3.3 type install and it can uh, restore back to just before I installed that so essentially anything you've done after that last install you can undo useful for quite a few things this does not affect documents and it says all that you can do a system image recovery okay recover your computer using a system image you created earlier windows memory diagnostic can check your computer memory there, open a command prompt, and I have HP, which will allow me to launch an HP Recovery Manager, which uh, will let, you, let me restore the two default settings like reinstall the ISO and whatnot. ISO image file, yeah, okay. <laughs> I haven't really clicked on this one. Windows cannot find a system image of the computer attached. Okay, so that's like, that's if you had the disk. That would be restoring from the disk. So that'll fix, that's just reinstalling the operating system. But uh, that should help you depending on what uh, what problems you have. Once you're done, it'll automatically, it might take a while to do the, to the system restore. But uh, after that, you can go to restart if you have or haven't done anything. But uh, the, the only reason I posted this video is because I found it hard to get to that screen. I'll just click that. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. I'll just show you. This worked for me. I, I did this after I said before I had my colors. It was really annoying because every folder looked like it was pink and frilly for some odd reason. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, but I'll just show you that, that this has done no harm. I'll let it boot up. And three, two, I'm sorry, I have a slow until Adam <laughs> Windows 7 thing. And Windows 7 is. There we go, a little cursor. There you go. I'll probably end up slicing this part of the video off. No, no. no. You're muting it so you don't have to hear me talk about nothing. And there you go. Windows 7. So, thanks for watching.